laptop barn, and today we will be showing you how to replace the memory from a Dell laptop E5550. Start yet. Okay, here we are. We're going to do this Dell Latitude E5550 memory swap. In this case, we're doing an upgrade to put an extra module in. On the bottom, all you do is undo the screws, as I'm doing here in the picture. I think there's eight screws all together. So you got to take them out. Don't lose the screws. While I'm taking them out, you'll notice i got a bandage on my elbow. Just had my corona antibody test. Haven't had the corona yet. So you're safe watching this video. Okay, now once you get all the screws out, the little trick here, you have a small flathead screwdriver. There's a little spot right there. You'll see me. I'm pushing it in just to help you get it pried up. It's just press fit in there. That's a little trick. You'll bust your fingernail if you try to do it with your fingernails. Just push that little screwdriver in there. Now you'll see there's two memory slots. In, in this case, I have one in there. So I'm going to want to put two in. I had, in this case, there's one 8 gigabyte module. I'm going to replace it with two 8 gigabyte modules to give me 16. That's all there is. They slip in there and just snap in place. Pretty hard to mess it up. Now, one thing about memory. This is just a little editorial from years of messing around with these. You want to try to put in a match set if you're putting in two. In this case, I've got two Samsung modules same number and everything you'll be safe sometimes it'll work without a match set but you're better off with them this model needs the pcl the newer laptops need that low voltage pc3l with that taken all you do is unsnap the one that's in there take the two new ones snap them in one at a time and now i've just upgraded from 8 gigabytes in this case to 16 or there may be cases where you've only got a 4 in there and you put another 4 in and you get uh, a total of 8 so now this model you snap that bottom back on it's a little tricky just work it around be careful you don't break anything just get it snapped into place and then put the 8 screws back in it's that simple we've now upgraded our RAM from 8 to 16 on a Dell E5550 you heard it here, Fred from the Laptop Barn.